Candace, I thought you were going to do the dishes. I love you, Mom. <gasps> I love you! I love you! Yeah! Hi, everyone! Hi! Welcome to the K-Drama Cafe. Your place for the latest, greatest K-Drama reviews and more. I'm Susan. And I'm Candace. You know, Mom was acting a little strange earlier today. How you doing today, Mom? I'm okay. Well, you know, it'd be okay if you weren't okay. Well, now that you mention it... Because today we're reviewing It's Okay to Not Be Okay. Before we get to the review, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to click that bell. Are you ready, Mom? Ready. Let's, Let's get, get dramatized. Who says all princesses are pretty? Maybe in this story, it's the witch that's beautiful. In It's Okay to Not Be Okay, that's certainly the case. Go Moon Young is a beautiful, talented, and renowned children's book author. But because of her antisocial personality disorder, she is cold, selfish, unfeeling, and downright scary. When she sees something she wants, she takes it. And what she wants now is Moon Gante, a healthcare worker at the psychiatric ward who's just barely getting by. Can the closed off and serious Gang Tae fend off Moon Young's advances? What happens when Moon Young finds out that she can't have everything or everyone she wants? In this beautiful and sometimes not so beautiful fractured fairy tale, we learn that leaning on one another is not necessarily a bad thing. And that means sometimes it's okay to not be okay. When we first heard about this drama, we were interested in it right away. It had a really unique premise, so we wanted to put it straight on our list. It had some Hotel de Luna vibes. Which we really loved, so... It stars Kim Soo Hyun, who we loved in My Love From Another Star. Oh my, and he's back with a vengeance. He is so good in this one. And it also stars So Ye Ji, who we saw in Lawless Lawyer. And she was also in Save Me. She was also in Last, but will anybody even know what that is? I loved Last. Me too! These two together seemed like the perfect casting choice. And let me tell you, it absolutely was. This was written by Joe Young and directed by Park Shin Woo. It aired in June of 2020, had 16 episodes, an hour and 15 minutes each. And when we first started watching it, it was really... Kind of creepy. What were we getting ourselves into? We didn't know. <laughs> the opening had a really creepy but cool kind of Tim Burton-esque feel it to it like, with like the stop motion. Butterflies. <laughs> Dead birds. I know. Monsters. Mon it was creepy. <laughs> yeah, it was creepy. But really captivating. We have So Ye Jeep who plays Go Moon Young. And she's an author of children's books. Really oh, creepy they children's are books. Very creepy. I thought, who would read these books to, to their, their children? <laughs> That's actually something in the story, too. Moon Young gets a lot of criticism that her drawings and her books are a little too grotesque. Oh, they're scary. They're very, they're very strange. It's weird. But she's actually working through her own personal issues and her own childhood traumas through these stories. So it's really interesting. Very interesting but I wouldn't let my kids watch it or read them. <laughs> <laughs> so Ye Ji is absolutely fantastic in this role. She was great. Her, her beauty and her low voice that she had <sighs> were absolutely just perfect for this role. She was amazing. I mean, she was able to play a character who was so cold and closed off, but also had to be vulnerable. And she was able to portray these things in such a believable way. It was like the part was written for her. The, and the chemistry they had between <sighs> them. Oh my gosh, it was off the charts. Off the charts. Wow. Kim Soo Hyun plays Moon Gang Tae, who's a healthcare worker at a psychiatric ward. He's very withdrawn and quiet and yes, hides everything behind a fake smile. But he's very kind and also patient, and he's good at his job. Very good at his job. He's the sole caretaker for his brother, Sang Tae, who's older than him, but he's autistic, so he still acts like a child. And he's so patient with him and loving. And there's this mystery that kind of surrounds them. We don't know what it is. It's the mystery of the butterflies. The butterflies. We love Kim Soo Hyun. He was amazing in this. And just like our leading lady, he was just perfect for this role. He has a really good way of portraying a character that- had a lot of dimension. A lot of dimension. He had to like have this control. You could actually see him holding back 
emotions when he had to be controlled and smile and get through. I mean, the closed fist, the tension. And, and when finally was, that broke, oh, whoa, wow. It was, it was fantastic. And their chemistry again was great. And they even had some humor in there it between was, the two of them. It was funny. They had fantastic banter as well as the romantic chemistry. So there was a lot of good things about them yes. as, as, a, as a... As the drama <laughs> progressed, you'll see how that works out. You it's will, just... A lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. There are a lot of familiar faces in this, and some really great performances by the side characters. And our favorite mom again was in this, and ah, so many so more. So many others. So many more. But we have to applaud Oh Sung Jae as Sang Tae. Oh he was my. fantastic. There, there's so much we can say about this, him and it was, how he did his role. It was such an amazing performance. The way that he plays the autistic character, the... The dialogue that he, he was had, so believable, and the the mannerisms that he that he had that he had to keep going with, and the stuttering it was amazing. The comic timing in this was so perfect uh, for him. The writing was fantastic. It portrayed like the eccentricity that autism has, and it presented it in a very humor humor like way, but didn't make fun of it. Never either. made fun of it. It was very humanized and very endearing, very tasteful. It was amazing. He did fantastic. It it was we applaud him it we applaud fantastic. him oodles of love to you yes you did great this is one of the best osts that we've heard in a drama for quite a while it was really varied there were so many songs that were like haunting and spooky then beautiful and romantic and then like very jovial, catchy like quirky, very catchy very catchy songs the da 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 <laughs> the background music too though the background music was really with the instrumental was just it wonderful was beautiful it brought out so much more in the drama than just being there for like it brought know, out to, all out the emotions it wasn't filler it actually meant something to have that music it, it was, was great there was one particular song fear that would it was a background song that played fear Elise, and it kind of sounded like it was a theremin that played it It was so like out there and weird that I haven't enjoyed hearing Fiora Lee's for a long time. I know, so I know. it was interesting. <laughs> it, was, it was cool. It made it fun to listen to again. We really had to dig to find something negative about this drama. And what we found was they got a little bit lazy with the villain at the end. But they made up for it big time. They made up for it big so time. So again, was it a negative? I don't uh, know. <laughs> we're being very picky. <laughs> We really like the way they handled the cases in the psychiatric hospital and the way they resolved them too. It wasn't just shown as like, they're a bunch of crazy people at the hospital. They actually had personalities and situations in their yeah, lives. reasons why they were reasons having problems. Why, and it really humanized them. It didn't just say crazy people. It gave them life. An and identity. Identity. And it showed that they were people, even though that they had problems, that they had you know, they were still good people and they still deserved love and friendship and compassion. So was this drama not okay? Okay. Or very okay. It was very super okay. Yes, it was. Yes. The characters and the actors in this, they were just amazing. The story and the morals that they brought out were very heart-wrenching, but beautiful and just, mm. It was an absolute wonderful drama, a must-see. Thanks for watching our review on It's Okay to Not Be Okay. And if you like this review and you want to see more, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that bell. Comment below, let us know what you thought of this drama. Was it okay or not okay in your book? Candace, you're having too much fun with the It's Okay Not to Be Okay. But that's okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Check this one out. You do not want to miss it. Absolutely. Now get out there and, and get, get dramatized. dramatized. <laughs> Here I am again saying don't forget to click the bell. Because today we're reviewing It's Okay to Not Be Okay. okay. <laughs> Darn it. No, that's good. That was so close. It stars Kim Soo Hyun, who we loved in It. He's back. Yay. Yay.